And up next, let's discuss Context API. And we're going to start actually with a challenge where I want you to see the pain of prop drilling. And the challenge is following. First, you want to navigate to the star in 09 Context API and create three components. Create navbar JSX, then navlinks, which you want to nest inside of the navbar and then user container which you want to nest inside of the navlinks one so yes i don't want you to nest user container and navlinks inside of the navbar no our use case is going to be navbar component which basically is our parent then the child is navlinks and then the user container is nested inside of the navlinks so essentially we have this three level structure. Now, after that, once you have the basic setup in place, I want you to import navbar JSX in the app JSX. Now, as far as my solution, I'm going to remove the container just so it looks like a navbar because I have all that padding in the container and all that, and it doesn't look very good if I place that navbar, but you don't have to do that. And also don't worry about the CSS. The main goal of this challenge is to work on a logic. If your example doesn't look exactly like mine, don't worry about it. Again, we're just focusing on the functionality. So once you have that nested structure, then in the nav bar, I want you to set up a user state value. The default is going to be an object with some kind of name property. Again, whatever you want to place over here, as well as the logout function that sets the user back to null. Now, I wanna pass both of them down to a user container. And just to give you a hint, yes, you will have to pass those values through the navlinks. Now, in the user container, I want you to display user as well as the button. And then once the user clicks the button, I wanna set it equal to null. Now there's an extra challenge. You can also use Conditional rendering, and basically, if the user is null, then you can display please login. Notice over here, that's the final example. But again, this is an extra challenge. Our main focus is to get both of these values down from the nav bar to a user component. And once you're ready to compare the results, resume with the videos.